Good morning. It is 7.28 a.m. on Tuesday, December 15th, 2020. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Ugh. Still, yeah, I, you know, I, I feel like of late, even though I feel okay most of the day, like, you know, times before that I have, um, had more chronic sleep deprivation, I would feel more sleepy like throughout the day. And so lately I haven't been feeling that, which is nice and suggests that I am not as chronically sleep deprived as I have been in the past, but I still do move pretty slow first thing in the morning. Um, it takes me a while to kind of get up and moving. So I'm just still kind of uh, in that hazy period right now, but, uh, you know, that's okay. Uh, I, uh, was interested watching yesterday the process play out of the electoral college and the, all the electors casting their ballots and everything. And now on the one hand, I'm not exactly happy that I feel like I need to pay attention to that just because, oh God, what if something happens? And, uh, you know, so there's that element of something that I like, I normally wouldn't pay attention because it's such a unimportant, like, it's like a formality, but you know, this year is not other years, but in any case though, <clears throat> watching the process, very boring in some respects, but also kind of just interesting to see where, where in our current society we still use sort of like pomp and circumstance, so to speak, as opposed to being more informal about things, right? And I guess probably if I watched more like government operations like congressional hearings and that sort of thing uh too like maybe just there's more more of that than i usually pay attention to but just the whole process of like you know the gavels and um you know we will now have uh, we will now have a vote to nominate a secretary to collect the ballots from the electors and bring them to the speaker who will then read them formally. And it just, all the process was kind of interesting, uh, just to watch a little bit of, but, uh, of course the, uh, you know, the conclusion was what it was always going to be. Uh, I'm just looking at this Chewy box behind me. I should probably move that just cause I'm not sponsored by Chewy or anything. Um, but, uh, here, let me, here we go. Yeah, I'll just hold my arm like this all time, the whole time. Uh, <laughs> uh, the other thing I did last night is watch, um, I rewatched the Wonder Woman movie. And part of that is because, you know, coming up on Christmas Day, the new Wonder Woman 1984 is coming out, so... Uh, I'm looking forward to that one, and so decided to rewatch the the first one, and it's still pretty good, right? It's good, it's a good one, and I think especially what stood out to me in rewatch is that a big part of what it what makes it work so well is that it really depicts the character as like a person. Um, and an unusual person to be sure, but unusual, not just in the fact that she, um, is super strong and fast and all of that, right? It, who Wonder Woman is, is not the same as what she can do, right? And so a big, like big parts of the movie are, are not about her using her powers, but just about her her understanding of the world and how that changes the more she sees of it and just who she is as a person. 
And, you know, so like the things we see in London, you know, her delighting in seeing a baby, which we can also like say for a moment, it's like, it's one thing to say, it's nice that the the movie lets her be kind of feminine uh, sometimes to, you know, show that that does not make her weak, right? But also we can just realize that like just in the fiction, it makes us, she's never seen a baby before. She, she knows in theory what they are, but it's like she's only read about them in books. And now it's like, oh, there is one right there. And it's like when she tries the ice cream, it's like, oh, this is wonderful, right? Like the, those moments exist and work because the movie is thoughtful about who she is as a person and what her thoughts and feelings are rather than just saying, huh, well, if we make the bad guys come from this direction, she can use her lasso to pull them down and then whip this guy around there and then use the shield to hit them on the head. Now, I mean, they do do that, right? Like it still has the action sequences, but those things mean all the more because we've come to know Diana as an actual character with thoughts and feelings, and that gives emotional stakes, which makes some of those uh, action sequences mean a bit more than just cool choreography. In any case, uh, I will leave it there for today. Uh, got so many levels campaign two returning tonight, uh, this evening, so check that out on Twitch, and in the meantime, I'll talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.